Hey, hey, Enchanted Nemesis Tarot, guys. All right. We are going to focus in on um, the collective for Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Um, their love situation. All right. We're going to focus. We're going to see what comes out. All right. Spirit, please, and thank you. Clear, concise messages. Clear, concise messages, Spirit. All right, let's get it together, though. We always have to say our affirmations, guys. Um, Like-minded souls are welcome. Make a difference in someone's life. Share knowledge to those who are open to listen, guys. We all have to work hard. It's free to be kind. We all need to remain positive, And you must seek knowledge for power, but do not abuse it, okay? So I, I feel like the Tarot is definitely knowledge, okay? And it does give you power. Okay, because the knowing gives you power, but we must not abuse it. All right, remember, you guys are the magical wisdom here. All right, manifest powerful connections, guys, and share your space only of those of pure love and positive energy if you can. Okay, if you know somebody's energy is negative, that's not somebody you want to be around if you are trying to move forward. All right, let's go. Spirit, please and thank you. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. All right. Somebody is definitely thinking about somebody here, all right? Your person could be thinking about you. They could be in their head about you, all right? Where is Gemini Libra energy, all right? I feel like for some of you, um, a child may be relevant in your relationship, okay? Maybe um, it could have been a separation and the child had to be separated from the other uh, party, and maybe that the person is also thinking about the child here, okay? They could be thinking about you, okay? And the child here, all right? Spirit, please and thank you. What's going on with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra? All right, I do feel like somebody is definitely prominent here, all right? This could be your person or this could be you. All right, somebody definitely is prominent. What else is going on with Aquarius, Gemini? I feel like somebody is definitely working hard, okay? Somebody may be working hard at this time. Give me one moment, guys. There could be something going on at work or someone is just working hard on a craft. Maybe um, something they're learning how to do here. All right. We are going to clarify all these cards to see where this story is going here. All right. What else, Spirit? What else is necessary to know for Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and love? All right, somebody may receive a gift or you could be the giver of a gift. All right. An official person is here. Maybe this is somebody that's military. Okay, your person could be military or you could be military. All right. We got the child there, we got the gift. We have occupation and we have the wealthy man here. All right. Somebody could be wanting to walk in their power. Okay. They could be, be trying to become the emperor or the empress by something that they're trying to create and do here. All right. What else? Four prayers leave a Gemini. Somebody could be receiving something, high honors, okay, for something that they're trying to do. Maybe this could be this person here trying to create something. Okay, you may walk in your power after that. You may get recognition for what you're doing, okay? Or it could be this official person in the military here. They could be coming up, all right? They could be earning some more stripes, okay? High honors, okay? What else, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? Some of you, for some of you, there's definitely a false person involved here, all right? Somebody is definitely wearing a mask. They are not who they say they are within your relationship, maybe love life. This could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, 
All right, somebody definitely is not being honest. What else for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and love? I see this person as like Empress energy, and I feel like this wealthy man here. So some of you are with your divine counterpart, all right? The wealthy man and the privileged lady, some of you are with your divine counterpart. I feel like it could be maybe a soulmate energy or twin flame energy, but you are with your divine person here, all right? Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, somebody is definitely with their divine counterpart, all right? And then you have somebody that definitely is with a false person here. They're pretending or have a mask on. They are not who they say they are. Spirit, please and thank you. What else do we have for Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra on the board? There's a mature woman here, all right? Some of you may be with somebody that's significantly older than you, or you could be older than the person, all right? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. What else for Aquarius, Gemini, Libra? Yeah, for some of you, marriage is definitely coming in, all right? Or marriage is involved in your situation, but some of you may be married here, all right? You could be married to your divine counterpart here. What else? Some of you um, that are in the dating phase, it could lead to marriage. And this could be with your divine counterpart, okay? This could lead to, lead to marriage. Whatever, uh, whomever this applies to, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, okay, your relationship could turn into a marriage. That could have something to do with the gift here. Somebody could be um, gifting somebody maybe a ring or something like that, something that's coming, elevation is coming for some of you in your relationship. What else, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? Yeah, for some of you, um, definitely maybe this false person that's involved, there's, some impri there's imprisonment here. So for some of you, your person could be getting into some type of trouble for something that they did fraudulent here, all right? Somebody definitely did something they had no business doing your person, okay? I also feel like um, that this woman here, she knows something. And that's why she has this fan up like this in front of her face. I, and see that person back there with the mask on? I feel like she knows this person and their identity or something that they've done. She's keeping a secret. So somebody, maybe your person could be involved with third party situation here, all right? She knows a secret about your person, all right? She's holding a deep, dark secret about your person. What else for Aquarius, Gemini, Libra? For some of you, there's gonna be unexpected income that comes in, okay? For, for Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. You're gonna get some money from somewhere. All right, what else? For others, somebody may be going into poverty here. All right, this could be spiritual poverty. All right, somebody definitely has a lesson to be learned. Okay, because all the wealth that they get could still turn this way. It all depends on what they're doing to get it. Okay. All right, let's go in and clarify some of these cards. Let's go in for some clarification. All right, let's build this story here. All right, what is this gift, Spirit? What is this gift that's coming in? Yeah, so the gift is going to be from the King of Cups. Could possibly be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. I feel like it's going to be something very emotional with it being the Cups here. I feel like this person is definitely in control of their life. I feel like there's some balance and they're very supportive. I feel like this person is definitely a leader and they're very empathetic towards you, okay? So that gift could be something um, dealing, it's something surrounded by love for sure, okay? It's something surrounded by love because the cups are definitely emotions here. All right. What is this person, what is this thoughts? What is this thoughts? All right, 
So I feel like somebody is thinking about you and they actually want to create something again with you. Okay, there's something they're trying to, they're thinking about you so much, they're manifesting, okay? It's about self-confidence. They're trying to get clarity as to what they really want from you. I do feel like they're definitely trying to manifest you back, okay? That's with this card here, this thoughts card. The person that's thinking about you is trying to manifest you back into their life, okay? And they're going to be able to do it. It's going to happen, okay? Or And or that could be you trying to manifest somebody back into your life. It's definitely going to happen, all right? What is this official person? I feel like this could be somebody that's in a third party situation here. They could be in a third party situation with a police officer, a military person, um, some type, maybe a lawyer, something. This is the third party here. All right. It could be a male or female just because it's opposing as a as an official person in a male depiction here does not mean that it's a it's a male. OK, it could be a female. OK. Um. I feel like there's been some overindulgence here with this person, all right? Your person, if you're in a third party situation, there's been some overindulgence here, all right? Heavy partying, heavy, heavy drinking, and things have happened between this person and your person, all right? That's who that official person is. Let's see what this courtship is. Clarify this courtship, spirit, clarify this courtship. Yeah, as you can see, the two people depicted in the picture, I mean, I'm, I'm getting strong Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So I feel like the Taurus Virgo Capricorn, if you're an Aquarius Gemini Libra, and maybe you're dating somebody that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, I feel like they, they're definitely manifesting you. And um, they want this back. They want this back. They want to go back to the dating phase, okay? And they're manifesting this, okay? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be these signs, um, but they're definitely manifesting you back in. They want to go back to that dating, that innocence, that, you know what I mean, that you guys had before, all right? Um, they desire this, all right? They're desiring this, all right? Let's see who this mature woman is and what she has to do with the situation. Spirit, please, and thank you. Who is the mature woman? Who is this mature woman spirit? One more for this mature woman. I feel like this is somebody your person knows. Maybe this could be a family member. I feel like they're very mature and they're telling them that your luck is going to run out, okay? If you don't stop doing what you're doing, this person knows what's going on. This could be somebody's mother or some family member. They actually know what's going on, okay? And they're telling your person, hey, if you don't change, if you don't stop this negative phase and break this cycle, bad luck is gonna come in, okay? You're gonna lose everything. You're gonna lose the person you really love this person is warning them, all right? And I feel like they're trying to help them make a decision, okay? This person is trying to help them make a decision. They're trying to help ground your person. Like, hey, you better make a solid choice here, all right? They know that the, this, the situation is at a stalemate and they are trying to help them make a decision, all right? They're trying to help your person make a decision. All right, let's see. What is this marriage? What is this marriage energy? Spirit, please and thank you. I just saw 1414. All right. I feel like this marriage is, this is somebody that's trying to get themselves grounded. Okay. They're trying to become um, emperor energy, king of pentacles, queen of pentacles energy. Um, this person may even have their own business. They're very um, successful in what they're doing. Okay. And I feel like your person would want to give you this offer. This is this, they want to give you the offer of marriage because they know that you're stability. They know that you have a certain type of success. Um, they know that you're business-fied um, and they know that you know how to become abundant, 
okay? So they want to make an offer to you. I am seeing the Knight of Cups. I feel like it's definitely romantic. So this is tying in with that marriage card. This person wants to, wants to propose to you. Your person wants to propose to you, okay? I don't know why, but I'm humming towards an Aquarius. Your person could be an Aquarius or this could be for an Aquarius, but it could be any sign. I also see an affiliation maybe with Earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, okay? So that's what I got there for the marriage. All right, let's see who we did the false person, the wealthy man, we know who that is. Let's see what this imprisonment is. What is this imprisonment, spirit, please, and thank you. What is this jail? All right, so I feel like this person that is not communicating maybe right now with you. You're not in communication with this person, and I feel like they're very frustrated. They almost feel like they're in a prison. Now, this could be um, mentally, or this could be physical imprisonment. But if, it, if it's mentally, it's because you're not speaking to this person and um, they need inner clarity. Right now, they're very chaotic within. Um, they're trying to rethink an ideal or something that they've done that could cause some imprisonment for real, okay? But I think they're trying to rethink it, okay? They're trying to get, their judgment is clouded. They really have no idea which way to go. They feel like they're locked up, all right? And I feel like they had some personal setbacks here. They've accepted the loss, okay? They've accepted the loss and they have to forgive themselves in order to come out of this mental prison, all right? They have to forgive themselves, not only others, but they need to forgive themselves, all right? Let's see what this unexpected income is. What is this unexpected income, spirit, please? And thank you, what is this unexpected income? All right, so I think this is some type of risk that your person has taken and whatever it is, it worked out in their favor. So they are gonna be delivered some unexpected income. This could be you or your person, okay? What else for this unexpected income? This could be something tied from family okay, or somebody you knew or know from the past or your person knows from the past, maybe something that was owed is gonna be repaid back. But I also feel strong family and close friends that this is tied to, okay? Let's see what this poverty is. What is this poverty card, Spirit? What is this poverty card? All right, I think this poverty card is coming from your person overindulging, all right? So your person is overindulging and maybe spending on someone. Extra finances have went out the window into someone else, okay? They've actually invested into something with someone, okay? And it's not gonna work out, okay? It's not gonna work out. And the, and the, and the, and the word here is pretty much three is a crowd, okay? So the big story here is that third party, okay? They're overindulging, they're partying, like they're spending money, they have no business spending, okay? This person, I feel like if you're separated from your person and they're in isolation, that's who I'm talking to, all right? Let's go ahead and get some outcomes on Aquarius. Um, Libra and Gemini. Let's go ahead and get some outcomes and see what's going to come out here. All right. We're going to do Aquarius first. What's the outcome for Aquarius in their situation? All right. It's all about honor here. So maybe Aquarius's person or you, you know, did not honor this relationship. Okay. I feel like they just did not honor it. Okay. They did things that, um, weren't in honor to your towards your person. So I feel like um, that's where it was lost. 
you know, it's, it, it says here, honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship becomes stronger, okay? I do feel like this person loves you, okay? I do feel like Aquarius, this person loves them, okay, for sure. Or vice versa, if um, it is an Aquarius that you're dealing with, your person does love you, okay? I feel like some of you are think you're in a soulmate connection though, and you may not be, okay? You may not be, all right? But the person, what happened with this relationship and what may have invited a third party is they did not honor this relationship, all right? I'm gonna see if I can get a total outcome. I don't know if I have those other cards with me to do. Let me just do one more. One more for Aquarius. Yeah, I, I definitely see some. Spirit, please and thank you. Spirit, please and thank you. I definitely see something remarkable coming if you guys were to come back together. Um, I think you all they have to do, and this is probably what they're doing, is contemplating how remarkable this relationship was. All right. I don't know if you see in the picture, see those wedding rings right there? I definitely feel like this is either a marriage or it will become a marriage, okay? So this was definitely for Aquarius, all right? And I feel like you two are definitely gonna be drawn back together with this power here, okay? The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls closer, okay? You two are definitely gonna come back together, all right? Let's move on, Gemini. Spirit, please and thank you, Gemini. All right, so there's a bond here, Gemini with Gemini and their person. I feel like this love bond is gonna grow stronger over time. I feel like maybe it was some hiccups with this relationship, but it definitely is gonna grow stronger over, over time. And I do feel like that you two have to be open. There has to be an openness here be open to accept the divine guidance within this relationship for it to flourish, okay? <clears throat> Spirit, please and thank you. Yeah, openness came out again. I can't stress this enough, okay? Openness for Gemini. You have to communicate, okay? The bond is there. The bond is definitely there, all right? I do feel like Aquarius, somebody may get a proposal here. I'm going back to Aquarius. I feel like somebody may get a proposal. All right. What about Libra? What about Libra? All right. Somebody definitely. Libra, that may, this may be a soulmate connection or you knew this person before in some type of past life. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to say this is like one of your true loves, okay? Because we got true love, but it's in the reverse, okay? So I feel like one party may have not um, seen this as true love, okay? It's definitely in the reverse, all right? And I also feel like somebody was not receptive in this relationship, all right? They weren't ready to receive, you know, they weren't ready to receive, okay? Let's see if I can get one more for Libra. What's the outcome? What's the outcome of this relationship, Spirit? One person I feel like is definitely in love, and the other person I feel like their heart was kind of like closed off, okay? I do feel like one person may be in this party affiliated maybe possibly with a Libra or Libra in their chart. I feel like um, you're on a spiritual journey right now. So I do feel like this is all about you, Libra, at this time, all right? You have to complete this spiritual journey first, 
all right? You need to take time out and explore your emotions, okay? And what you are experiencing, okay? You have to take time out for yourself, all right? I feel like there were a lot of obstacles in this relationship, and I don't know if this will be any rekindling here. There was a lot of obstacles though in this relationship, all right? Rekindling is in the reverse. So I'm not sure if this will be rekindled here, all right? Even though energy changes, things could change, okay? But right now, the energy that we're in, I don't see it. I just saw 2525, so we can also look into that. All right, let's talk about your person. Who is Aquarius's person at this time? Who is Aquarius's person? All right, so Aquarius, I feel like right now your person is being very mischievous, all right? They're being very, very mischievous at this time, okay? And remember, it doesn't have to be an Aquarius. Um, this doesn't have, the Aquarius just could be in your chart, okay, somewhere. So your person is being very mischievous, okay, at this time. All right, Gemini, who is Gemini's person at this time? Male or female, doesn't matter, all right? I feel like your person is being very shy right now or, 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 or shunning away from you. They're just, they're just bashful, okay? That's who your person is at this time. Let's go, who is Libra's person? Spirit, please and thank you. All right, I feel like Libra's person is very inspired at this time, or Libra could be very inspired at this time. All right, let's find out what that mischief is about for Aquarius's person. What is this mischief, mischief, mischief about? What is it about, spirit? Yeah, so this all has to do with something that's going on with them inside, okay? They're struggling, they're on edge, they're very defensive, they're very paranoid at this time, and they're exhausted because they have a lack of motivation. So they're trying to figure out ways to, um, what they could do to make things better faster. Instead of going the old fashioned route, they're trying to be mischievous with it, okay? We're gonna close this out. We're gonna close this out. I wish I could do uh, one more thing. Hold on guys. All right, we're gonna just do this because I can't locate my other deck. What is the outcome of Aquarius and their person, one card, spirit. So I feel like something deeply has something to do um, with children, okay? I feel like maybe children could keep this connection flowing, okay, with Aquarius. What about Gemini, what's the outcome? Yeah, I feel like you two, could, uh, should make the effort, okay, in this relationship. Put forth the effort, all right? You can take the necessary steps to make this work. I just saw 28, 28, all right? Libra. All right, I feel like, I don't know, um, this is just telling you, I feel like you should love yourself at this time and know that you deserve love because I got so many negative cards with this Libra situation about not being receptive and, 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 and so forth. So I feel like just know that you deserve love, okay? That may have not been it for you. All right, guys, that is all I have um, for now. Guys, Enchanted Nemesis Tarot here, guys, please like uh, and subscribe if you have not. All right, leave me some comments down below about what you thought about this reading, guys. Um, but remember, take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? And although this is general, 29.29 on the clock, it is not going to apply to everyone, okay? It's not gonna apply to everyone. Um, you can do a, a personal reading if you want it, uh, not to look into the generals, okay? All right, guys.
I think that is all. Bye for now, guys. Enchanted Nemesis Tarot. Thank you for the support, guys. Bye-bye. Until next time.